Hi everyone, I just finished my first ever buddy read reading this one and I thought I'd speak a little about the process and how it was. If you're new to the channel, I'm Oistan and I usually talk about books and my reading experiences. If you want to hear more about this book specifically, I'll probably talk more about it in my March wrap up later this month, so stay tuned. In the meantime, if you want to read this novel yourself or just read about it, I'll leave a link down in the description. It all started out with one of you guys asking me if I wanted to read this novel and of course I said yes. And this person lives in the US. Naturally, the first thing to consider is how do we communicate about this novel? And we landed on doing it via WhatsApp because email just seems a bit rigid and doing it live was, I would say, impossible to manage time-wise. So it was a compromise, but it worked out fine. Also, this novel is about 600 pages. So I decided that I wanted to split it into four. So we stopped at the first 150 pages, then 300 and 450 and then finishing. This I don't have any strong opinions on. I just think it would be even more fun if you read one chapter and talked about it each day rather than reading quite a lot and then discussing things because you actually don't remember everything, even though you think you do. And I wrote a lot of notes, I just felt that it was never enough. For each time we stopped, I couldn't remember all the things that I wanted to say, and you're talking with another human being, so that person will drag the conversation into another direction that you hadn't planned, and that's all part of the fun. But at some point, it was a bit frustrating for me to not be able to express myself to the fullest extent. But that's on me. Also, this is one of the things that I think would be better if we met in person or talked live, simply because you get more words out of it. Having different thoughts and opinions is of course one of the most valuable things about this whole process. I talked to this woman on the other side of the globe about this book that's heavily based on Norse mythology. So naturally this will lead me to get a whole new perspective on things. Also, she has read a ton more books than I have and getting her perspectives on how this storyline might develop and what are some common tropes in stories like these, this was all part of the fun. The most useful thing about doing this is that you're reading at the same time as someone else and naturally they can help you out with answering your questions. And still as a beginner reader of sorts, I struggle sometimes to know if I'm supposed to know things or they're just going to get revealed at some point. Having someone to just verify that you're not really supposed to know that by now, that's a really great thing because it makes me relax and just indulge in the story rather than overthink how bad of a reader I am. Because at the beginning of this novel, there's so much stuff that I thought I'd supposed to know. But then after the first stop with my buddy, she told me that, well, I don't either. And of course, in that scenario as well, it might be better just reading chapter by chapter together, but you can't get it all. Other than this, this was not a complicated read, but I could imagine a better read being very useful when reading something like Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. I couldn't finish that one because I couldn't understand a word, but having a buddy that actually is an intellectual of some sorts could be helpful just asking them what did really occur in this instance and where is this book heading, if someone knows. Also, if you don't feel the vibe in a book, maybe the other person can sort of re-excite you with talking about things you hadn't really considered or your buddy can sort of tell you to DNF it. That would also be valuable to many of us. Imagine having someone on the other side of the world just telling you to put the book down. You don't need it. It's not for you. I see how that could be helpful. I have very few negative things to say about this process. The only time I was really getting frustrated was at the third stop, so the last stop before finishing. It was getting intense and exciting and I really enjoyed it and then my buddy wasn't quite up to speed and it took some days before I could start again. And in the meantime, I had to find a new novel. If this hadn't been a buddy read, I would have just read those pages really quickly and enjoyed it. But I had to wait and waiting can be a drag. So that's about as negative as it gets. If I'd read a book that I didn't enjoy at all, this process would be frustrating. That I can tell you. 
And of course doing this face to face would be a lot better, but that's something I can explore later. So these were just some of my thoughts about the buddy read. If you've done a buddy read and have experiences you'd like to share, or if you have questions about a buddy read, please leave them below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.